वेलकम टू विनुता मैथ चैनल दिस इज द सेकेंड वीडियो ऑफ द प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन चैप्टर इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैड डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द बेसिक डेफिनेशन ऑफ द प्रोबेबिलिटी प्रोबेबिलिटी चैप्टर दैट इज वॉट इज एन एलिमेंट्री इवेंट वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ कॉम्पोजिट इवेंट एंड सो ऑन नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट the addition theorem of probability the addition theorem of probability says if the events are mutually exclusive mutually exclusive means what if there is no common between the elements of the a and b then p of a or b will be equal to p of a plus p of b p means what it is the probability next the product theorem of the probability the product theorem of the probability says if the events if the two or more events are independent then the p of a and b will be equal to p of a into p of b okay so the addition theorem of probability this is related to the mutually exclusive events the product theorem of probability this is related to the independent events next is random variable the next co concept in the syllabus is the random variables what is a random variable random variable means we uh, got to know about the meaning of random experiment in the previous video in an random experiment if it is possible to associate a real number with every outcome then it is called as a random variable let me take an example here the random variable the random variable this will be this can be uh, represented by the letter x y z and so on it is nothing but we use the capital letters to represent the random variable in the example tossing a coin here we will get the outcomes as either head or tail h that is head or tail individually these are called as the sample points all together all the possible outcomes the set of all the possible outcomes it is called as an sample space okay now if each and every element or outcome of this sample space if it is being represented by any real number then that is called as an random variable now let us try to represent each and every outcome with a real number if it is possible then that will be called as an random variable fine okay so here i have taken x for the representation of random variable okay random variable what is my random variable i am taking the number of heads in the experiment okay what are the outcomes here i have an outcome as h that is head or tail okay so h and t what is my random variable i am calling or i am assigning the random variable with the number of heads in the experiment so i am counting the number of heads in the outcomes and i am assigning it with x fine okay h the number of heads how many heads are there in this particular sample point only one so it is one fine in next in this how many heads are there in this experiment no heads no means in mathematics it is represented as zero you got to know let me take another example of tossing two coins okay tossing 
two coins if i toss two coins then the sample space would be hh ht th and tt now let me take a random variable as y uh, y let us take it as the number of tails in experiment in this experiment okay so let me write here i am taking the outcome here i am taking the random variable okay random variable it is y the outcomes i am writing it as hh next ht th t t in this random variable is y what is y y is nothing but we have considered the number of tails in the experiment for this how many number of tails are there in this particular outcome or in this particular sample point is there any tail no right so it is zero okay for this how many number of tails are there one tail so it is one here also one here two now you can try with the same example and you can take the random variable as z and you try to uh, you, you take z as the number of heads in the experiment and similarly you try to write this table outcome with respect to the random variable z okay you got to know about the random variables the next concept is the discrete and the continuous random variable these two types are uh, will come under the random variables we can the random variables are being divided as discrete and continuous based on some results so first now let us uh, get to know about the discrete random variable if the random variable that is x or capital y or capital z if that takes the finite number of values then that is called as a discrete random variable okay let me explain uh, the example for this is tossing a coin throwing a dice okay see in this example we have taken the example as tossing a coin either head or tail these are the sample space we have uh, represented each outcome of this sample space with a random variable uh, random variable we have taken it as the number of heads so we counted and we assigned it with one and zero right we can count how many number of values the x is being taken the x is taken as one or it is zero right only these two values the random variable x it is taken two values in this experiment and in this experiment and in the uh, tossing of two coins experiment the random variables outcomes were the zero one one and two how many different random variable values are there zero one two the count is three zero is there one is there so one two and three the random variable is taken has taken the three different values so in these experiments we are able to count the number of times the random uh, the random variable is taking <clears throat> those experiments or those random values are called as the discrete random variables okay those random var uh, variables are called as discrete random variables next the continuous random variables if the random variable takes infinite number of values then those random variables are called as continuous random variables now let us take an example weight of students of 
weight of all students in your college let us consider some thousand students are there in your college so the weight of all these students will not be same right <coughs> someone uh, would weigh around 50 kg someone may be having 50.1 50.2 we have to assign each uh, weights of these students with different number if the weights are different that is if a student is having 50 kg then we have to assign it with one just for example i am telling 50.1 then it is with two if someone is weighing with 50.2 then it is with three like this we have to do it for thousand students in that case it will become an infinite number right fine next uh, the second example could be length of the nail produced by a machine the machine could produce the nails of one inch two inches three inches or very big nails third example would be observing the point on a speedometer of your motorcycle let us imagine you are riding your motorcycle okay uh, before you start or before you start your ride the speedometer will show the zero let us assign it with some random variable x and this value as zero once it starts showing one kilometer per hour assign it with one 1.1 kilometer if it is digital i am talking about the digital speedometer then one more uh, random variable we have to assign 1.2 again one more similarly if it is around 100 one more okay in this case the random variable what we are taking it is taking the infinitely many values those random vary uh, variables are called as continuous random variables okay i guess you got to know about all the details regarding what is a random variable what are the different two types of random variables that is discrete and continuous and you can distinguish between the discrete and continuous okay uh, to tell it in a simple way all the counting all the counting experiments will be having a discrete random variable all the measuring all the measuring problems will be having a continuous random variable okay uh, this is all it for today if you like our video hit a like button and comment your opinion in the comment box we have an telegram channel also if you have any doubts please post your doubts there thank you for watching and happy learning